So hi guys, I'm sure you'd agree that there has been a bit of confusion as to what exactly I'm doing currently. Am I studying medicine or am I studying engineering? Will I go back to medicine? So just in order to help you guys as my audience to sort of see where my plans are at the moment and where I intend to go, let me use this video as an opportunity to explain. In summary, I'm still doing medicine, I'll still be a doctor in a few years time, I will still be making medicine related videos. But at the same time, since I am intercalating in engineering, I will be making engineering videos because I feel as if they are very relevant. I think it's really important as the next generation of doctors, surgeons and researchers to really appreciate the engineering side of medicine. Let me quickly explain the Cambridge course structure so that you can understand what medics actually go through whilst they're here, what choices they can make, but also the actual number of years and the different opportunities they can get. The Cambridge Medicine course. It's a traditional course split into your preclinical and clinical studies. It's a six year course where you get one degree after the first three years, followed by your medical degree after another three years. All these subjects are what you can do for your first degree, your Bachelor of Arts. In some subjects though, you can get a Masters by studying one extra year. You then go to the hospitals around Cambridge to do your clinical studies. This is where you become a doctor. My story is a bit different. Because I want to take a Masters in Engineering, I have seven years in total. One degree after four years, then another degree after another three years. I get a complete master's out of it, a complete master's in engineering. This is very different to the honorary ones given out by Oxford and Cambridge. So hopefully now you guys appreciate a bit more where I'm taking sort of my medical degree. So I intend to finish the master's in engineering, then go back to clinical school to become a doctor. Now the exciting thing is, since I have a master's in engineering, given that I work in a sort of relatively engineering heavy discipline for quite a while, I could theoretically become a chartered engineer. So I feel as if as an aspiring surgeon and biotech slash medtech innovator, having a chartered engineering position will give me so much leverage, but also skill and expertise in being able to apply my knowledge to sort of come up with pretty radical but meaningful changes to how we can help improve patients' lives. But don't worry, I'm still making medicine videos right now. I've got a few really exciting projects when it comes to businesses, but also a few startups when it comes to medicine. So I'll be there to support you guys. I'll be there over the next few years to make sure that you guys can, you know, put forward the best application possible. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. The next video that I'm going to be releasing will be the announcement of the giveaway. Actually, I need to go and get the uh, collect the giveaway products today. So let's do that. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.